caucus ending here at uh, the school just a short time ago, and it took no time for it to clear out. Now, just to give you an idea of how many people showed up here to Turner High School, this entire school parking lot was full. Some people started to park alongside the sides of the streets and in the back parking lot. The sheer number of people who came out to today's caucus even surprised organizers who were only expecting about 600 people. Some people even camped out in the lines with food and coolers shortly after one o'clock today when those doors opened. But a number of other Democrats left here feeling disappointed. Several drivers circled around and around looking for a place to park and ultimately they left the line by three o'clock because they had to be turned away because they showed up just a short time after that. So one man told us that he sprinted over here just to join the line in time. Yeah, we barely made it. The uh, security guard over there was very generous and kind and, and uh, helped get us into, into the right position here. That guy and his friend parking on the side of the road, running over to the, catch the line, caught it just in time. Meanwhile, just shortly after 3 o'clock, 3.01, people started being turned away, including an elderly woman who took her quite some time to walk up here to join the line with her cane. Live in Kansas City, Kansas, Taisha Walker, KBC 9 News. All right, Taisha and KBC 9 political reporter Michael Mahoney joining us again. A strong turnout by Republicans, a strong turnout by Democrats. What do you make of the Democrats and what's taking place this evening, Michael? Keisha, it's sort of the same sort of conventional wisdom, if there's any conventional wisdom this year. If there's a big turnout, not only in Lawrence, not only in KCK, not only in Johnson County, but anecdotally in other parts of Kansas, that spells good news for Bernie Sanders. And... Some people will not be surprised to have Bernie Sanders perform very, very well tonight. Uh, he certainly has a base in Lawrence, battleground uh, area, de definitely going to be Johnson County for the Democrats, and uh, then Topeka will be a bit, a bit of a stronghold. Good turnout is good news for Ber uh, Bernie Sanders. It means that Hillary Clinton is going to have another close fight. Okay, and you know, Missouri has its primary coming up in 10 days. What do today's events say about what you can expect to see here in Missouri on March 15th? Two words, momentum. Okay. Um, or maybe that's three. <laughs> uh, it's going to be momentum for Ted Cruz, no doubt about this. And let's see how the rest of the night plays out. And definitely, he got off to a good start with a two to one trouncing of Don Donald Trump. It's going to be a big battleground on the Democratic side. Hillary Clinton is very well organized in the state of Missouri. Bernie Sanders is trying to make a, a good organization here. And it's easier to do in Missouri because it's not a caucus state, Keisha. It's a primary state. And so people are simply going to go in and vote like you do on Election Day. We won't see long lines like we're seeing out in Kansas because it's just an election. Okay. Well, Michael's got his ear to the ground on this, going to keep us updated on what we can expect. And if you had to stand out in those long lines today, you couldn't have picked a better day weather-wise. Meteorologist. Just Nick Bender joins us now for our first alert. Nick, we had outstanding weather today. Highs made it into the 60s and a lot of sunshine. Cloud cover now creeping in from the west. It's over Topeka and Ottawa, Kansas. Not a whole lot here in Kansas City, but farther to the west, there's a lot of cloud cover. These are mid and high level clouds. Those will overspread Kansas and Missouri, the rest of Kansas and Missouri, overnight and for your Sunday. Nowhere near the amount of sun tomorrow is what we saw today. 63 degrees, a northeast wind. It's light, 5 miles an hour. Enjoy the light wind because those winds crank up tomorrow afternoon, big time. 57 in Trenton, 60 in Chillicothe. Just wonderful temperatures. 66 in Paola, 65 degrees in Lawrence for the rest of the evening here in the Big KC, dropping into the 50s and then steadily falling to about 50 degrees by 10 o'clock tonight. Straight ahead, there's a lot of big changes in the weather pattern over the next several days. Wind, warmth, and then we'll talk about the chance of rain and thunderstorms. That's straight ahead. We've had 15 primaries and caucuses so far, and we have been able to win over and over and over again from the grassroots. Ted Cruz with the win in Kansas coming up. We'll have a look at the latest numbers that are coming in. Plus, the number one ranked Jayhawks with a big game tonight and a big goodbye to a fan favorite. Republicans and Democrats caucus in Kansas. The results are coming in. Voters in five states are weighing in tonight on the 2016 presidential race. In all, 155 GOP delegates are at stake in today's primaries and caucuses. Now, Ted Cruz wins Kansas, and here he is speaking just a short time ago. While we're at it, let me say, 
God bless Kansas. And God bless Maine. Now, it's a little bit early. We don't know final election results yet. The votes are still being counted. But as of today, the networks have called the state of Kansas for us. And here's a look at the latest numbers. As we just showed you for the GOP, Ted Cruz wins in Kansas with 51%. Cruz triumphs over frontrunner Donald Trump, who is trying to pad his delegate lead in the race for president. And as for the Democrats, still no numbers coming in there. Their caucus just closed at 5 p.m. minutes ago. We're going to keep you updated right here on KMBC 9 News. Well, it was a big day in Lawrence. Number one Kansas taking on 21st ranked Iowa State. But probably the bigger story tonight, who the Jayhawks and their fans are saying goodbye to. KMBC 9's Alan Shope is in Lawrence. Well, it was a really big day in Lawrence today, and not just for a basketball team looking to close out the season with some momentum. Of course, Iowa State, that was the last game Kansas lost back in January. The team looking to get a little revenge against the Cyclones, but it was also senior day and that's a big day here at Kansas especially when you talk about the four seniors that are going goodbye today Hunter Mickelson Evan Manning Jabari trailer and of course more importantly Perry Ellis a Kansas guy from Kansas who chose Kansas a four year starter here and by the time Perry Ellis is done he'll probably be in the top 10 in all time scoring and rebounding at Kansas. Seniors. Well, Perry played his final game at Allen Fieldhouse this afternoon and fans say he will be missed. Oh, he's meant everything. Everybody loves him. Uh, man, four years, he's done it all right. Never anything to complain about. He is the essence of a Kansas Jayhawk. We love you, Perry. I feel like he was a really good addition to the KU family. Fans say maybe the most important thing about Ellis is that he's actually from the state and he stayed in state to play. That's just rare anymore. So, and have somebody at that talent level has been awesome. It really continues KU tradition and keeps us focused on I'm winning it. I don't know how it's possible, but he's somehow elevated the love of Kansas basketball by the fans. And much more on today's Senior Day and highlights of this game coming up later in sports. Reporting in Lawrence at Allen Fieldhouse, Allen Shope, KMBC 9 News. And as Allen mentioned, we will have more from Lawrence coming up later in sports with Karen Kornacki. Hungry like a squirrel today in Trenton, Missouri. That was sent to me from Amy Davis on Facebook. I don't know what that means weather wise. Amy said that's the reason why she has to put bird feed in her bird feeder, not from the birds, from the squirrels. I don't know. I got a kick out of it. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Nick Bender, KNBC. You can share your pictures with me there or Snapchat, WX Nick Bender. Had a lot of sunset and sunrise pictures shared with me this week. Clouds and radar over the last hour. Not a whole lot of cloud cover here in Kansas City, but to the west, Topeka and Salina and out to Hayes, Kansas, mid high level clouds. Those are moving in overnight, so we'll say goodbye to the sun. Hello to more cloud cover for tomorrow, along with much stronger wind. Capital Federal City, if you can, in the Northland, 63 degrees. These are high, thin, cirrus clouds. There's a lot of sunshine.